Hello, and welcome to This Month in Datadog, where we'll update you on our latest features, product announcements, events, and more. This episode, we're spotlighting Datadog App Builder, which enables you to create applications using pre-built UI components that you can use directly within the platform. We're also covering vulnerability management, which can now scan Windows hosts, new processors for transforming and enriching logs before routing them, and a pair of application security updates. But before we get to those, we want to share an update on GuardDog from our security research team. GuardDog is an open source project that helps you identify malicious packages in your environment. Last year, we added support for MPM package ecosystem and GitHub CI integrations. And now, with GuardDog 2, we've added support for Yara and custom source code rules, along with initial support for the Golang ecosystem. You can learn more about this update by checking out the blog post, which we'll link to in our show notes. And now, on with the show. We're excited to announce that vulnerability management is now available in public beta for Windows hosts. Adding to vulnerability management's existing coverage of AWS and Google Cloud, this feature now continually scans your Windows hosts for vulnerabilities which are surfaced and ordered by severity. You also get guided steps for faster remediation. We will include a link in our show notes where you can learn more about vulnerability management for Windows. Up next are new out-of-the-box processors for observability pipelines. On top of existing processors that filter, sample, and route logs, you can now transform and enrich. With the Grok parser, you can automatically apply pre-configured parsing rules to your logs. Add hostname automatically inserts host names into log messages. With the Enrichment Table Processor, you can create custom tables that enrich data as logs are routed to their destination. And the GeoIP Parser adds geographic information to log messages. You can find these processors in observability pipelines today. Wrapping up our new features is a pair of application security updates. First is Datadog Code Security, which now gives you continuous real-time visibility into code level vulnerabilities within your production applications. Not only does Code Security's new capability help you identify the specific input or request that triggered the vulnerability, but you can also pinpoint the vulnerable file, version, or even line of code. We've also expanded Datadog Software Composition Analysis's coverage of vulnerabilities to help you understand other types of risks in your open source libraries, including licensing risks, deprecated and end-of-life open source libraries, unmaintained projects that did not follow security best practices, and more. Check out these two updates on application security today. And that was just a sneak peek of the many features we released this month. For a full list, visit the link show. This month, we're putting the spotlight on App Builder. Here's Alex from the product team to tell you more. Thanks, Jeremy. Hi, everyone. I'm Alex, a product manager here at Datadog. Last year, we introduced our first action-driven product with the release of workflow automation. Today, I'm excited to announce that we are expanding our suite of action-driven products with the release of App Builder. App Builder allows engineers to build custom self-serve apps that enable anyone in your company to take action on observability insights and make changes to cloud infrastructure. When troubleshooting an issue or remediating an outage, engineers need tools that are easy to use, access control, and closely integrated with their company's services. But in reality, they often have to jump between their monitoring platform and other tools such as internal full stack tools, the CLI, or cloud provider consoles, which create bottlenecks, errors, and slow down mean time to resolution. That's where App Builder can help. Now engineers can build apps in hours instead of weeks and integrate apps in their existing monitoring stack for faster remediation. Apps are easy to build thanks to a drag and drop interface that includes UI components, 600 plus out of the box actions across Datadog, third party products, and HTTP for custom requests, it also includes JavaScript support for custom logic and access control to configure who can view and edit apps. 
It is simple to get started thanks to blueprints that highlight real-world use cases, including scaling up ECS clusters, temporarily blocking IP address in Cloudflare, spinning up new repos in GitHub, and much more. Apps can also be embedded in dashboard as widgets, providing one pane of glass for observability insights and action on cloud infrastructure. To get started, head to App Builder and Datadog today. Happy building. Thanks, Alex. And that wraps up today's episode. If you have a question, comment, or suggestion for a future episode, comment below or email us. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for future episodes of This Month in Datadog. See you next month.